welcome if you're new welcome if you came back welcome 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 my name is francine and this is my channel obviously because my name is on it <laughs> so but on this channel i as i like to say i get your life together whether it's the beauty whether it's the adventure whether it's the budget so right now is a very very exciting video for me because i am introducing my etsy shop so as you know my etsy shop has opened the 5th of july but i didn't properly make a video on what is in my shop so today's video i'm going to show you around that rundown of what is actually in my etsy shop so it is a long do long overdue video but i just wanted to make it as soon as possible so let me just adjust myself right here and bring bring some of my stuff over here okay so i just want you to see my little plant over here you know <laughs> so yes so today's video i'm going to show you what is going to be in my etsy shop so i'm going to start with my bundles i would call it which is my kits so right now i am only doing stickers for inkwell press planners and because that's the planner i have right here this is my inkwell press um if you want to know more and see what's inside of my inkwell press i will put it in the i cards above because i do a um open box review setting up my etsy my inkwell press so you can see what's inside of it and so on and so forth but I only make stickers for Inkwell Press and that can also translate to the Erin Condren because we don't have that many stickers for Inkwell Press or that are designed for Inkwell. We only see stickers for Erin Condren and that's it. Which is sad to say but it does fit the Inkwell Press. So if you do have an Erin Condren you can still purchase from my Etsy shop. Just know that there are a little minor things that are going to cater to the inkwell press so this is my budget kit my monthly budget kit so i have the little washi tape i wanted to start with this one so the washi tape is like this and i have paycheck one paycheck two and i have three tabs three flags right here so i can put my um, percentage of each category uh so right here i have my bill due my tracker this is how i get my zero base budget so i will have the budget sheets a la carte um i have a few stickered colors for these um for this design but this one is the one i'm starting with right now but i will sell these a la carte and you can get these individually so right now this is bills bills due budget actual and i have the total then we have the cash envelopes so i do do the cash base um, um budget so this is uh envelopes plus uh total so what you add into the envelope and the total of what the envelope is uh total right here then we have sinking funds so sinking funds starting starting uh, amount and then what are you adding and the total so leftover a b c when i do my budget i'll show you how to use this big budget kit because i feel like it's an easy way for everybody that are new to the zero base budget system it's an easy easy way to show um to get to you to that zero base uh this is kind of a mimic of the budget mom system she has a system where it's similar to this similar but different 
So when I do my budget, I will post the video to show you how I do it, how I do it. So I just want to show you how the washi tape and the pay, the paycheck look in my inkwell press planner. So this is how it looks right here. We have the paycheck one, paycheck two, and this is how the washi tape fit. So it doesn't go all the way to the end because I don't have a, you know, a little, what is that? Hole puncher, I don't have a hole puncher. So it goes from here to here. So this is how it's looking right now. Once again, I'll do my budget just to show a demo of how to use my sticker kits. So yes. All right. So this one right here, I don't know how much I'm gonna sell it for, probably $5 to start off. Um, but when you do get it, you'll get two of this. Cause this is not just the monthly budget. This is the like monthly budget for both paycheck one and two. So I will give two of this of the budget. So it might be like five, $6 for the kit. Then we have, so now we have, so now we have our monthly spread kit. And when I made this kit, I wanted to think of what will you need to fulfill your monthly spread. And this is the washi that I have right now. This is for the August. So the August is my test run right now to see what works and what doesn't. So right now we have August 2019. And then when I made this kit, I was thinking, what do you need? What, what would I need in a monthly kit? So we have the washi tip. Then we have, ooh, this is the wrong sticker. <laughs> Then we have the, the days, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but you have a option between the script and the regular font. So you have the option between script and a regular font. I like the script, but I couldn't decide which one I wanted, this one or that one. So I'm giving you guys that option. Then we have the habit trackers. So right here, if you could see, let's put this together. So right here, this is the happy tracker. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, I'm also thinking about not putting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, the days of the weeks. Um, but I do like how it looks right now. If I decide not to keep it, I'll just have the circles blank for the future. So we have that. Then we have the bills, bill due, paycheck, and some like random circles if you need to put them, mark them on your, your calendar for important dates or whatever. So we have the bill dues. We have one, two, three, four, five, six bill dues. We have three paycheck stickers, just in case if you know one month you have three paychecks. Um, then we have three colors of the circles. So this is what it's looking like. Then we have the work. So I have So we have 24 um work stickers. I wanted to give a good amount just in case if you do work a lot. So I calculated how many days you would work if you work 5 days a week and that's 4 days so you would work probably uh five days four that's 20 days so i gave you 24 days um work stickers and then we have the day off this is the one i was looking for so we have the day off stickers 
Um, I gave you three. So we have uh, 15, 15 stickers, five, 10, 15, 15 stickers for days off. Um, I didn't really do much math about how many days off you would have. It varies, but I think 15 is an okay amount, right? So this is how much the stickers, how, what's in the monthly sticker kit right now. So this is the monthly sticker right now that we have. And I'm not too sure on the price point I'm gonna put this on because this is a lot of stickers that I would be putting in one kit. So I would probably put it more than my monthly budget kit. So yeah, so this is the one kit we have right now. Now let's go to the a la carte items that we will be selling just, you know, on its own. So we have vacation. This is the same scripts design. This is a once again 15 vacation stickers. Then we have game night. So, you know, it's the summertime. You might want to be social more than the winter. <laughs> so, right now <laughs> so right now this is then we have trash days for our trash days because sometimes these days ain't always awesome so I wanted to give something a little humorous so we also have 15 no we don't have 15 this is 3 uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, fifteen. So we have eighteen. So we have eighteen stickers, and we have eighteen stickers here, eighteen stickers here, and I believe eighteen stickers here because one, two, three, four, five. Yep, eighteen stickers. So these are eighteen stickers each. Then we have date night, which is another sixteen sticker uh, set. And then I will be selling work, but these are 15. So I will be selling work and I will be selling day off a la carte as well. Just in case if you do need more. So then now we are looking at our um, more on the functional side, function, functional stickers. So I have these little square boxes that comes in black gray and a mix of I would call berry colors um, I use this for my planner when I'm making lists to-do lists um, so I can check off whatever I need so these will be sold on the shop in the shop as well then I have my little empty rectangle boxes So I have my empty rectangle boxes which come in gray, red, and orange. I don't have the orange one right now, but yeah, it comes in orange. Then we have some school stickers and budget, some more budget stickers. Now we have our budget stickers. Ooh, we're missing one. So yeah, so now we have our budget stickers. We're still missing one. What in the world? Okay, so we have our budget stickers and it comes in array of selection. So we have the blacks. Wow. I was right the first time. Oh my gosh, this video is going different than I expected. I was right the first time. So we have the black color, 
which is these two on the other on the other ends this one has the a slot a box where you can put the price and these do not so this is the only difference of these two same color patterns same font same everything but the this set has the box where you can add the the amount that is due for that bill and this one has no slot it just has the line to write the bill name the reason for that is because i don't know what type of planner you have i don't know if you have a regular planner that you would like to put your bills in that you use your planner for everything or do you have a budget planner where you don't mind to write in the number um of what you owe to that certain person or corporation and the reason for that is because it's privacy reasons not everybody wants to show or tell people how much they pay for certain things um and yeah it's just privacy reasons so i just wanted to have both for the two people two different people that have different needs so these are my bill do stickers so i'm selling these three dollars a piece oh i forgot to tell you these are three dollars a piece um three dollars a piece majority of what i'm selling is gonna be three dollars a piece besides the kit so we have that then we have our educational stickers so we have our exam our exam stickers this is the bold color we do not have a uh, exam stickers in the pastel that will be coming soon but this is the bold color and this is how it looks I hope you can see it and it's very clear but this is the exam picture I mean sticker mm -hmm. then we have the midterm and final so I didn't want to put just midterm and just final because that makes no sense uh, by the way, this is one, two, three, four, five, six stickers because on a typical semester, people have six, uh, four, five, six classes, six classes, the max. Um, if it's anything more, especially in college, they won't recommend that and they won't allow you to register for that unless you prove to them that you can handle it. But neither here nor there, I just wanted to cater to that aspect so i put final and exam and put them in the same color because it would be depending on the person if you like to color coat so if you like to color coat this is this is this is perfect for you and then i have also that this is the pastel i have that in the bold so depending on what is your taste i personally like the pastel the pastel is me, <laughs> but the bold may be for someone else. And then we have the same set of sequence for the essay tabs. So we have it in pastel, we have it in bold, and we have six. So yeah. Is there anything else? No, so, so that right here concludes my Etsy haul introduction. I really hope that you enjoy this. I really hope that you purchase because that would really mean the world to me. And I know that I've been getting a lot of subscribers and I really hope that y'all support. I really do. I really do. I really do. Um, but yes, and comment down below what you would like to see in my Etsy shop and I can just create that and start selling it. I might also do a thing where I'll sell the papers that do not register in my, um, what is that called? My silhouette. <laughs> the papers that don't register in my silhouette and doesn't get cut, I might sell that for a very low discounted price, like probably $1, $2. Um only because I don't want to waste the paper and paper is expensive and I don't want it to go to waste and go to the trash when if somebody has a cutting a cutting mat to cut the the things at the stickers out <clears throat> if anybody has a cutting mat that can cut the stickers out 
or a cutting machine or, or knows their way around and do not mind doing it they can take the, st the sticker sheets for a dollar I will give you the whole sheet um, that didn't cut so for example So for example, this would be a sheet that I would sell for a dollar. This one did not register with my printer. I don't know why, maybe because it was close to the re registration lines or whatever, but this I would sell for a dollar, this whole sheet. So you would basically have the whole kit for a dollar. So that I, I feel like that's a bargain. Um, so yeah, so that is on the table if you guys think it's okay and y'all would appreciate it and y'all would prefer me do that comment down below and i'll definitely make a little slot of registration of papers that never registered in my silhouette but yeah so i would really appreciate if you support don't forget the shop name is freeport creation it will be down in the description it is always down in the description um, I will also put in the i card so that it's easier for you to access if you do not want to look down in the description but yeah so I'm really happy about this I hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up don't forget 